I first want to make the invitation to get as comfortable as possible. We will be practicing with loving kindness and compassion and really directing those heart qualities towards ourselves. And as we do that, a great support in the practice is to bring as much comfort and ease to the body as possible. So um, this is an opportunity to check in as we're moving into practice. We're moving into the present moment, moving into connection with ourselves, bringing ourselves, our care, our attention, our presence. And one way we can just start that, enter into this place of practicing is to do this kind of check-in with ourselves. What do I need right now to support my practice? And so I invite um, whatever posture feels best to you. It might be lying down, it might be sitting, it might be actually moving in your space or standing up. Um, really tuning into what do I need right now to be present with myself? Knowing that all the options are open and also that you can change your mind. So just taking a moment as we're getting started, maybe it means getting, opening a window, getting a cushion, getting a glass of water, um, finding what it is that will best support our bodies to be in practice. I'm gonna ring the bell just to start us into our practice period. As we get started, I invite us all just to come, come into awareness of ourselves, of our bodies, to whatever extent that feels available, supportive. So maybe just tuning into some sensation in the body. The purpose of this is to bring our awareness into the present moment. So sometimes I start with just feeling my feet on the floor or whatever they're resting on, or tuning into the weight of my body resting on the chair or might be lying on the bed or the floor. Tuning into that feeling of contact, the feeling of being supported. You know, tuning into the relationship between my body and the earth. Really feeling how gravity is holding me so firmly to this planet that nourishes me, that cares for me. So tuning into that connection, tuning into those actual sensations of contact that might feel like pressure or warmth. And other sensations that we might notice are the movement of the breath. There might be other movement in the body. We may feel warmth or coolness maybe both at once, warm air and a little bit of a cool breeze. We can also feel things like vibration, prickling sensations. Sometimes there's also a, we can notice an absence of sensation or kind of numbness and just knowing that's another kind of sensation to notice. And if in tuning into sensation, it feels overwhelming or feels like we can't stay present with it, 
knowing that we can titrate, that we can move um, to another sense, maybe move to vision, take a moment to look around the room, really notice the space that we're in, maybe look out the window. Really knowing that we are our own best guide when it comes to how to be present in these bodies in this moment. For this practice, we're going to be exploring the heart qualities of loving kindness and compassion, starting out with this quality of loving kindness. We can also just think of this as friendliness, bringing a kind of unconditional friendliness to our awareness in this moment, to our relationship with ourselves. If it feels helpful, we can put a hand somewhere on our body, wherever it feels, wherever feels supportive, maybe on the chest or the belly, maybe it's on the leg, just bringing a little warmth, caring touch to ourselves. I like to tune into both the feeling of offering myself some caring touch, tuning into the experience of the hand offering, and also tuning into the experience of receiving this touch. So tuning into the experience of my chest, feeling this warm hand. This is a way to really feel into this contact. Inviting a sense of care, warmth. And those things may not feel available in this moment. It's just an invitation. And um, with everything that's offered, know that if it lands as something that feels supportive, we can take it on. We can also just let the words be a background and continue with our practice in the way that feels best to us. I'm gonna be sharing some phrases. These are traditional, this practice of loving kindness to offer good wishes through phrases. We can offer to them to ourselves and to others. I'm gonna be offering these phrases to myself and then I invite you to offer them to yourself that feels available and supportive. It's also fine to let my voice be a background. And as we move into these phrases, just finding a way to hold ourselves in our awareness, which may just be this, what we've been doing, tuning into sensation. It could also be bringing to mind an image of ourselves, perhaps an image of ourselves as a young person, child, could also be just holding a felt sense of ourselves. And trying on these phrases as I share them, you might just say them silently to yourself or you could say them out loud if you're in a space where that feels comfortable or just listen, notice how they land in your awareness. May I be safe and protected from harm. May I be happy as much as is possible. May I know well-being peace and ease. May I receive the care that I need and may my needs be met as much as is possible. May I be held in kindness and compassion
may I be free. Just continuing, I'll continue with the phrases and just invite noticing any resonance in the body may notice that some land in different ways. There may be resistance, there may be longing, there may be thoughts, judgments, just to know there's no way to do it wrong. So just inviting these good wishes towards ourselves and just noticing how noticing how they arrive and how they land in our bodies. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy as much as is possible. May I know peace, ease, and well-being. May I receive the care that I need. May I be held in kindness and compassion. May I be free. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy as much as is possible. May I find peace, ease, and well being. May I receive the care that I need. May I be held in kindness and compassion. May I be free. I invite us to continue in this practice just for a few minutes in silence. If there's have been any phrases that particularly resonated, you could repeat that maybe that one or two phrases to yourself or just continue with this sense of wishing well to ourselves, however that's showing up for you. We'll continue just a few minutes with this practice in silence.
just continuing this practice, continuing, continuing to offer ourselves friendliness, good wishes, just to whatever extent it feels available. And it may feel awkward, forced, and knowing there's nothing wrong with that. And maybe that we're planting a seed for future practice, future fruition. And it's okay for it to feel awkward in the moment. And into this space, whatever friendliness we've been able to generate or invite in. I wanna also invite any more difficult feelings that may be present, inviting in our own, our own suffering that's present. Just taking a moment to see if there is any pain, any difficulty that's present for us right now and could be, could be just being with physical pain or discomfort. It could be some challenging emotions, anger, fear, grief. Could also be just being with all that's happening in our world right now. Whatever of that is in our awareness. And as we meet suffering or difficulty from this place of care, friendliness, just noticing if there is like care that arises or compassion that arises as we turn our attention to what's difficult in our own experience. And again, I'm gonna offer some phrases around really meeting this pain and suffering, offering it care and attention. And again, just noticing how these phrases land in your awareness, seeing if you would like to also offer them to yourself silently or out loud, or just receiving, receiving the words. I care about my suffering. I am here for this moment of suffering. I'm not going anywhere. May this care bring some ease to my pain. May the suffering open my heart. I care about my suffering. I am here for this moment of suffering. I'm not going anywhere.
May this care transform my suffering. May the suffering open my heart. Just inviting ourselves to try on these phrases may be helpful to be continuing to have some kind of caring touch that we're offering ourselves. Knowing these phrases, while they may feel awkward or um, you know, not natural to our, our experience. Also knowing this is a way that we can really offer ourselves our attention, giving ourselves the, the attention, the presence that we may long for from others. And also knowing if there's other words, other phrases that arise for you, those are also so invited. I'm going to continue with my phrases. I care about my suffering. I am here for this moment of suffering. I'm not going anywhere. May this care transform my suffering. May the suffering open my heart. I care about my suffering. I am here for this moment of suffering. I'm not going anywhere. May this care transform my suffering. May my suffering open my heart. And I invite us to continue this practice for a few minutes in silence. Just bringing in any of the phrases that resonated with, with you or bringing in your own phrase or phrases or just sitting with this feeling of just offering ourselves our full attention, including the difficult parts of our experience. So we'll continue for a few minutes in silence.
just noticing how it is to offer ourselves some care and presence around anything that feels difficult right now. And know that we can shift the practice if this practice isn't feeling like it's resonating with, with our experience right now, we can also shift back to offering ourselves the loving kindness phrases. Just feeling into what kind of attention we wanna offer ourselves, what kind of wishes or presence we wish for ourselves in this moment. And as we move towards the end of this practice, I wanna invite in one more quality of the heart, which is gratitude. This bringing our attention to appreciation and gratitude, seeing if there is any gratitude that we wanna offer ourselves in this moment. Just recognizing ourselves for showing up, practicing tonight. Maybe appreciating ourselves for really giving ourselves this undivided attention for this period of practice. And we may also extend our gratitude to others who've shown up here, to this community of practice, and just noticing that the support of practicing in community, and appreciating others for their efforts in showing up here and their efforts in practicing. And noticing if there's any other direction we want to send gratitude. We might want to send gratitude to the earth. Maybe send gratitude to our guides, our teachers, those who have supported us on the path. Maybe send gratitude to those who've cared for the earth cared for the land that we are on in any other direction that it feels we feel called to send some gratitude some appreciation and now uh, invite the sound of the bell to end our practice. Thank you all for practicing, for your practice for extending some care towards yourselves.